Hi guys, welcome to Joy e Kitchen where you find peace. Peace leads to joy, joy leads to love, and love leads to happiness. It's another wonderful day to be with you to give God thanks, to give Him praise, to give Him glory, and to give Him honor. And guys, you know we just got outside, we cut our vegetables, we cut our spinach, our callaloo, or we call it callaloo back home, and it's time to put it into the pot. So guys, it's from the garden to your pot. So I'm gonna show you what I'm using in my spinach. Guys, I want you to look at these. These are spinach coming up. And there is no miracle grow, grow on it, just my fresh water. So I'm gonna give them some more water when I finish and then you know we have spinach to eat. Yes, we're gonna have spinach to eat. And this is my mint tree right here. See it? The mint, so I'm gonna put more. Okay, guys, I'm with you in my garden. This is my spinach or callaloo. Back home, we call this callaloo. So, I'm gonna cut these guys. This is my flower pot garden. So, I'm gonna cut these because they are well trimmed up and they are ready to eat. And if I let them stay too long, they're gonna get hard. And when they get hard they cannot eat so I'm cutting them this morning to make some color yes so if you plant you will get and these are natural organic color or spinach whatever you want to call it but I know it's color and no chemical go on them just natural water from the pipe I use and I water them okay guys so continue cutting my spinach so when you cut these now continue water them and they will spring back up continue they're gonna continue to spring up so that's how I get this type of spinach every year in the winter i leave the pot outside in the spring they spring back up as i show you guys and i got it this is how i get it right so when we complain and say oh we can't plan things are so expensive in the market yeah you have a backyard you have flowers pot and you plant your stuff them in yeah, so it look like nothing is there now guys, but all of these gonna spring right back up and when you water them you get more from it. Okay, here I have some more right here guys, so I'm gonna cut them. Yes, I don't want the world to eat them. I don't want them to get too too um, hard. These are soft and nice. So I'm cutting them. And I'm gonna cook some spinach today, guys. And that's how I get my green vegetables. I call So all you Jamaican out there and say, oh I don't have this and I don't have that and I cannot plant. Stop complaining. Get some color look seed, get some vegetable seed and plant them. As you can see, these just spring up back over here. Every year they spring up back. They come up with my flowers. As you can see, my flowers plant there. And everybody go together. Flowers and vegetables go together. And that's how I get my vegetables to eat. So I'm cutting my vegetables this morning. And all of these gonna spring back up. Yep. All I have to do is just give them water every day. Look, see? A little bundle of uh, spinach I have right here. Because it's from my garden. Nice and nice. Out here. Yep. See how they grow. I'm going to plant it right here. Have a seed in the pot. They just spring up. Last few days I said come up. You see they are all over the place right now. So finish coming like down the lion. They spring up. They spread. Just one little seed. You have a whole lot of spinach. And every year the 
it's good because all you have to do is give them some water so look guys look how much money i save right here yes i'm gonna cook my spinach i have some more over there all right yeah i have two more here bring up so i'm gonna cut them off you can see they're still all over in my flower spot so that's why i don't put um miracle glue in my flower spot because it's either you're gonna have spinach or you're gonna have dandelion that's dandelion right here and they go between my flowers dandelion there i have mint i'm very close to my um pan right now guys so everything so everything does grow up there's a little one spring up here not much but this is gonna cut them they will continue spring up back see yeah and that's where i'm getting my spinach today to cook my pot yeah yes guys these are dandelion i'll cut them another time for you so this is dandelion these are the flowers right here so everybody grow up together right guys so that's how i get my stuff that's my scallion right there our green onion what you call it you know we in jamaica call it scallion so there's some right there and as you see this is where i get my vegetables from they are my flowers they go together yes guys and here i have some um, okra growing in this part i transplanted them the other day so here guys as you see what's going on these are the cucumbers in the pot right here that's you have tomatoes and the scallion right there you have um tomatoes you have peppers and this is how my little garden growing up that's my pepper right there pepper right here guys um over here in my flowers garden right here too i have some more okra right up here i have my lettuce right there um over here is the same thing i have them here as you can see so when the cucumber them start to spread then i run more i move them i basically release them off my flowers and i'm gonna put them in between here guys so they get to run up and here all of here they're gonna run up and, and they're gonna be pretty and nice so i'll take you through the process when that time come guys so they're looking very lovely very beautiful over here yep and as i said inside here we have mints inside here look these are mint um i cut these two um spinach that was inside here here i still has two more or three more um tomato tree i'm gonna transplant them and put them into a bigger stuff right here guys and over here i have my thyme so i'm gonna cut my thyme guys as you can see this is my thyme i'm gonna cut them and then i'm gonna wash them put them on my counter and let them dry and then i will have time all here around and this is my spinach that i got so see this is my little bungle our uh, spinach yes guys my little bungle our uh, spinach yep as you see guys this is my spinach i got from my garden it is a wonderful day so now we're going to go inside and we're going to cook our green yes this is my hallelujah i get so i'm going to go inside i'm going to wash them clean them up cut them up and i'm going to cook some hallelujah yes guys so you can grow your fresh garden your fresh greens guys so it's from the garden into the pot from my garden my flower pot garden into my pot okay guys as you can see there i have my spinach i have my peppers i have red green gold and orange pepper i have green onion i have onion i have my coconut oil i have my complete and i have my cayenne pepper because you know i don't do it without my cayenne pepper guys and that's the color 
as the rainbow, red, green, and gold. And guys, that's where I got my spinach from my garden. And I'm not gonna steam it, guys. I'm gonna stir fry. I did a video previous last year. I did a stir fry um, spinach or color loop video. So I don't know if you guys watch that video. Maybe my old subscriber might watch it. Maybe my new subscriber may. They may not watch it. I don't know, guys. I don't know what you watch. So if you don't get to see that video, I'm gonna show you how I do my stir fry spinach or stir fry callaloo because when we as Jamaican we intend to overcook our spinach we steam it very long and when we overcook our vegetable we cook out all the nutrients out of it so I'm just going to show you how I do my vegetable guys and as I said guys this is my orange pepper this is my yellow pepper this is my green and this is my red this is my onion right here my garlic is garlic is right here my onion is right here and this is my spinach right here guy this is my cayenne pepper my complete season and my coconut oil so guys i'm gonna start the process for you okay guys as you can see here i cut up most of my stuff off camera but i have these few i want to cut to show my new subscriber who are people who do not know how to cut these things how you cut them guys so definitely i'm gonna cut these for you i cut up some of my spinach pepper onion and so forth guys so this is how i'm gonna cut these right now guys this is the orange pepper so this is how i'm gonna do it to put it in my um stir fry spinach so this is how I cut it. So I'm going to put it right here with the rest of them right here where I have the red, green, and gold. And then I'm going to cut up these very small. See? Cut up these like these. I know a lot of people out there do not know how to cut these things, guys. And I know people out there who know how to cut these. So for who out there who know how to cut it, bear with me. And for who do not know how to cut it, welcome and i'm happy that i'm here that i can teach you how to cut these things right because we have to be friendly and love our kitchen okay guys this is my green onion right here so i do it like this i'm using four stuff of um green onion i use quarter of pepper red green gold and yellow pepper I use two onion I use maybe three peg of garlic and I use as you can see my color from my garden guys I just cut them like that and I just cook them okay so that's what I'm using in my stuff and guys remember to subscribe remember to like and remember to share I'm gonna put these my green onion right here and guys thank you very much for your love and your support because I couldn't do this without you because of you made me what I'm doing right now guys so I really appreciate your love and your support and guys remember to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend my onion I cut them two way I cut them wrong like this yes and the round one, I'm going to put them last in my stir fry. And then I'm going to cut up the next part of it. Okay, so this is the round part. Here I have some right over here too, guys. And then I'm going to do like this, cut it like this. And then do it like this. And then I'm going to cut them like this, guys. So this is how I cut up these. These one I put in first in the oil and let it saute. And then I put in my um my hollow and so forth guys. But you will see what I'm doing 
right and you know your color is very good you have in iron it's good to fill your blood it's good for everything guys so the most most more green we eat in our vegetable in our meal it better it is for us guys and if you can plant your own it's much better than to buy them because when you plant them you know what's in it when you cook them you know exactly what what in it guys when you um buy them do we know what in them what they use on them not really but we just buy them so if you have your garden you have your backyard and whatever utilize it guys which i said all the time utilize it and plant your own stuff don't be afraid to put your hand in the ground because the heart that's where we come from the heart is everything that we eat come from the heart and when we die that's where we're gonna come go back so if you are here we're afraid to put our hand in the dirt oh my god when that time come you can't be afraid because that's where they're going to put you back whether you want to or not so that's where okay, let me shake off the water off my color loop as i said i washed them before okay that shake off right there so let me move this thing from here okay guys i'm going to cut up the rest of my color loop now that i can show you exactly so we can't be afraid to put our hands in dirt in mother nature because we come from the ground and, and the earth we're gonna go back so guys plant your own stuff it's good when you plant your own stuff it's really really good when you can plant your own stuff right and this is how i cut my spinach back in the days we used to do freelance and cut up color loop and so forth but when you did like in the days you know sometimes you cut your um, part of your hand here so I just cut it like this and I use the cutting board it more easier and everything like that yes I could go back and cut it like that because I think in my previous video I show you how to cut it like that but you know most people nowadays use cutting board to cut their stuff so you just have to take your time and cut them and you can cut them how you want them I like to cut my spinach them so much yes you know the smaller you cut them i bet i do come on to color look you can't join color look never they never teach us to junk our color they teach us to cut our color look very very fine can you get it a better taste a better texture a better everything when you cut them small so the smaller you cut your color look and the better it is for you guys but our recipe is feeling it so I'm taking my time, folding it little by little because I want everything to cut up and cut up my kalaloo. And I'm going to eat my kalaloo. I love these stuff. I love my greens. Yes. So this is how I cut it. Little by little. And be careful if you're cutting it for the first time don't cut your finger okay just be careful and take your time do not rush it take your time through the process and cut it because you're in your kitchen and you're doing what you have to do in your kitchen so you just take your time just like i'm taking my time right now and i'm cutting it for you guys so take your time and cut it almost finished now so when i finish this now guys i'm going to take you over to my stove and start the process of stir frying my vegetables so this is the color loop this finished cut so i'm going to take you over there now guys okay guys now i'm going to put in my stuff my ironing salt i'm going to put in my onion and my garlic in here Okay then guys, let's try it here. I'm going to turn on the stove a little bit more. This is a lovely 
beautiful day out there, guys. It's a little bit warm because one thing in this country, when it's hot, it's really hot. Now when it's cold, it's really cold, I am telling you. So it's really warm out there. Sweetie. I'm going to put in this chop of onion um, pepper in here. And then I'm going to put in my green onion inside here. We'll let this cook in together a minute or two and it's very easy very easy very simple to do you know and as i said back in the days when we cook kalalu we overcook our kalalu and until now i think that's how the many countries to cook kalalu steam it steam it steam it really steam it steam out all the nourishing out of it nutrients from the kalalu so and this is the way i cook my color right now guys i learned to cook my color like this it's very nice and very nutritious for us so i put some complete seasoning guys this is my complete seasoning inside of uh, my food of the half cake this is it guys complete seasoning my food don't have taste I cannot eat it down, so I have to have my food have some taste and flavor. So now guys, I'm going to put in my spinach inside here. This is it now. This is the one I put on the board. Spread this first right. Put in the rest of it in it. Yep. And mix up everything together. Stir frying. I don't want to play the hair stuff. This is how I do my stir frying. Finish. Tell me what you think about it, guys. Looking good. Fresh. Organic. Yes. No chemical in it, guys. Nope, nope, nope. We ain't use no chemical. This is definitely fresh and nice, organic um, spinach. And now guys, I'm going to put in my own onion inside here. And then I'm going to put in my pepper inside here. And that's the color of it. You have here red, green, and gold. Cannot ask for better than this. I'm gonna put in my little complete season. Complete, not complete season. My cayenne pepper, guys. Sorry, but I have to taste it too, guys, to see if you need more seasoning in it. Yeah, so I have to really, really taste it to see if you need more seasoning. So this is my cayenne pepper. I'm going to sprinkle a little in it. You don't have to if you don't want to. But you know I cook with my cayenne pepper. I like it and cayenne pepper is very good. So, this is what it is right now. It's almost finished. You don't need to cook it more any longer or anything like that. And I know guys, I cook with a lot of onion. I like this stuff. They're very 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 good for us so tell me what you think okay so let me taste it now guys and see what it tastes like mm. Mm -mm. guys this tastes good yeah this is so lovely this tastes so nice now, as I said, we've finished. This is how I 
cook my stir fry hallelujah spinach whatever you want to call it this is how i cook it in the days back home we used to use a lot of steaming of it up and let it steam 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 no i don't do that anymore this is the best way to cook your spinach all right guys i'm gonna turn off this now and then i'm gonna put it in a plate and i'm gonna show you exactly what it's like mm. you don't need nothing more in it good 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 just like that guys okay guys that's my spinach or callaloo and avocado you can eat it with anything you want to eat it with guys but i do not want to eat it with nothing more than my avocado <laughs> yes that's what i feel for so you can do anything and eat it with it guys so tell me what you think about it guys look it looks so so lovely so tell me what you think and we're gonna eat a little together guys we're gonna eat together okay guys we're gonna eat together as i said i don't want to eat anything else more than with my avocado so let's go guys from my garden to my pot to my stomach mm. Mm -mm. guys this is so good i don't know if you want to eat with me but definitely I want to eat with you so as I said this is a white book guy mm. I remember when I was growing up in the country whatever we eat from the garden to the pot to our stomach and that was good I used to love it mm, mm, mm. Mm. yeah it's good and some of them I ask, this can pull your belly? Yes, it can. It's very healthy. Very good for us guys. So as I said, if you want to eat it with something else. Mm. 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 If you want to eat it with your rice, your dumpling, your banana, whatever you want to eat it with that's your business my business right now guys i want to eat it with some avocado and that's what i'm eating it with and it's so good so 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 good mm. ask for better than this you cannot ask for better than this as i said welcome to joy e kitchen where you find peace peace lead to joy joy lead to love and love leads to happiness you need to take care of yourself you hold that to yourself guys so guys have a wonderful beautiful day until i meet you but in my kitchen another day another time peace love joy happiness